Hi there, Julie Cross here. Welcome back to the podcast show. This has been a little bit of a series about some of my moments uh, with the journey of Thomas Kent Can, and I'm recording this as well today as a video. So you can also hear it on my podcast or you can watch it on Facebook. So it's another Thomas Kent Can story. It's um, one of those, this was really a um, big learning moment for me about all of the things that Thomas still needs to learn about society and about people um, and his ability to do that um, and also about you know Thomas has taught me so much about inclusion and so now it's up to me to also teach him about inclusion and acceptance and diversity because we had a situation where he was messaged by um, a customer for Thomas Kent Can who found him on Facebook and um, we will call him Steve um, and Steve messaged Thomas about um, looking after the house and doing some jobs there, feeding fish and watering the garden. And um, and so he was having this conversation with Steve over Messenger and um, we were organising a time for us both to go and meet Steve so that um, we could have a look at what the job entailed and I could make sure Thomas was able to and that we could carry on that job, etc. while they were away. So then Steve said in his messages, oh, and um, by the way, my husband... Craig will also be there. Now, I just had this moment because this triggered in me, have I ever had that conversation with Thomas um, that men marry men and women marry women? And we know it's kind of normal for us, but Thomas actually has to learn all of these concepts. He doesn't absorb them like most of us do. And I couldn't leave it to just get there and because I can't trust what Thomas might say if that happens. And so I say to Thomas, just offhandedly, I say, oh, Tom, you know, don't you, that um, that men can marry men and women marry women. Women marry men, men marry men, and women marry women. And he goes, what the hell do they want to do that for? And I go, well, Thomas, it's just normal. It's just normal. I said, it's just normal like men marry women and sometimes um, men marry men and women marry women. It's just normal. It's part of life. Oh, oh, so that's why Steve's got a husband, Craig. And I like, yeah, that's right, they're married. He goes, oh. So, and I sort of said, and Thomas, because Thomas loves to make nice conversations with his customers, but I said, Thomas, it's probably not appropriate that you just talk about that. Like, you don't say, why do you marry me? You don't talk about it like that. You don't have a conversation about it because it's just normal. He goes, oh, okay. So I think he got it and I'm a little bit nervous when we go to their house and meet Stephen Cray because I, Thomas does like to make nice conversations because he's learned that that's what you should do and so he makes lovely conversations and he's really grown in that area and I'm very grateful but I just want to make sure that we're, you know, managing this well and look, they're the, the nicest couple and we, so we go and, and Steve kind of bounces out and he takes us in and... Um, and then out of the bedroom comes his husband. And so Steve turns around and goes, and um, Thomas, this is my husband, Craig. And um, Thomas greets him and I'm like, right, where's the fish? Where's the fish? Let's meet the fish because we're feeding the fish and watering the garden. Where's the fish? Where's the fish? Oh, look at the cute little fish. Okay, how much food do we give them? Okay, thank you. Show Thomas how much. Thomas, see, see that had so much food. Where's the veggie garden? Where's the veggie garden? Because I just thought let's just keep it going here and keep it rocking and rolling because I'm just not sure what conversation we're going to have. Where's the veggie garden? Where? Oh, look at those big zucchinis. Aren't they big zucchinis, Thomas? Look at the zucchinis. How much water we got now? Watching Thomas. Are you watching Thomas? Are you watching how much water you got to give everything? That's great. Oh, yes, yeah, so we can do that. And then there was just one. One lull in conversation. And from behind me, I hear Thomas say, he turned around to Craig and he said, Craig, may I ask you a question? Now, at this point, I held my breath. And Craig had, um, uh, obviously, he, um, he had a sore a eye. You could tell that there was a, an issue with his eye. So Thomas looks right at him and goes, so, what happened to your eye? And Craig, bless him, he's such a good, wonderful man. He just looks at Thomas and answered it beautifully. He said, well, Thomas, you see, I had cancer in my eye and I had to have a glass eye put in. I had my eye taken out. So Thomas is like, oh, well, I'm really sorry that happened to you, Craig. 
And I go, right, everybody out. Okay, Thomas, isn't it being wonderful? Lovely to meet you, Craig and Steve. Oh, it's so great to meet you. I know Thomas is going to do a wonderful job for you all. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having us, Thomas. Go, let's go, let's go, everybody. <laughs> and as we're walking to the car, Thomas says to me, so, Mum, how did you like my wonderful conversation I had with Craig? I said, Thomas, that was a lovely conversation. And he said, and I didn't say anything about men marrying men. And I go, Thomas, you are a winner. We are winning here today. <laughs> and so, you know, uh, this is his lesson on inclusion and celebrating diversity and spreading the love. And, you know, and he did take it, I, um, you know, took it all in his stride. And um, and I realised he learnt an important you know, he learned something important today about that, about in inclusion and, and, and realising for me that um, he had to learn that, but he does it with no judgment. He just does it, you know, there is no judgment from him. There is just um, love in his heart and acceptance. Um, and that was a good thing. So, um, yeah, it was a good story and, um, yeah, a great couple. So um, we appreciate all of you. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll see you next time.